All right, this is going to be on the uh, New York Attorney General Eric Schneiderman. And uh, what more is there to say that a bunch of other YouTubers haven't said? I know a lot of people on the right are saying, ha ha, it's one of you dems. And uh, it's really not about that for me. I'm, I'm approaching it from another situ uh, from another standpoint. The other standpoint is this, or the other viewpoint. The other viewpoint is this. Not, not even, not even, you know, how many people are getting caught up in this. It's not even really about that for me. It's more about that are getting caught up in this that are that are supposed to that are supposed to be championing the women's rights understood but this is what i this is what i'm thinking even the people that are not getting caught doing stuff that they're not supposed to be doing or they champion themselves against the thing is is that how many people really like him how many people are really just flat out virtue signaling that they're just saying what they're saying just to be popular, just to get into power, positions of power, just to keep a big fan base and stuff like that. You don't even have to. And it's to me that's almost as 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 bad as a person that actually has done something that is talking about how you know uh, like a situation or something like him. That's almost as bad. You're you're only saying and you're only going against the uh, the move or you're only for this movement purely because you're just using the mo of the movement. You're the movement is your whore. The Me Too movement is your whore. Is basically what it is. You're whoring that movement just purely for your satisfaction, and your satisfaction being gaining more political power or gaining more money. Look at Anita uh, Sarkeesian talking about of uh, of uh, uh, video game sexism and video gaming and stuff like that. This woman isn't even a video isn't even a gamer, but she's able to use that feminism to just bat, beat over the head and and get a whole bunch of money going. And what are and this is where we're going. The same thing with uh, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton. That's what they do. That's just a way for them to get more money. It isn't that they really give a damn about advancement of black people. It isn't like Anita Sarkeesian actually give a damn about women's issues. It's all about money. It isn't like this Eric Schneiderman actually gave a damn that he gave a damn about about women's issues. He just did it because that that kept him in power. It kept him in power, so that's way. That's the way I, I I approach it. I'm not necessarily approaching it from who's doing it or or doing these things, uh, they, and they're they're speaking out so uh, so against it. But they're actually the ones also doing this. I don't even look at it from that standpoint. I'm looking at it from the standpoint of people. How much do they really believe in this crap? And it's me too. And everybody is just so goddamn. Everybody is just so. Um, uh, 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 sensitive about all these issues how much do they really give a damn and I, and when I say that once again it's all the people that are not getting caught how many of these people don't in behind closed doors they're like man I don't believe in any of this crap but you know what man you know uh, you know I go out there and, and say you know you know that that men are bad or men are horrible and or i go out there and say that white people are this and that again if i'm for the black lives matter movement or if i'm for whatever whatever uh marginalized group that you speak that you speak for then then they go behind closed doors and you know and and, and uh that's what they do so um situations like that i you know i, I tend to just be amazed about the people and what they really think, kind of like uh, Jimmy Fallon. No, well, not Jimmy Fallon. Uh, um, what's the other guy's name? Um, the other guy that cries all day, that always that always seems to cry. Uh, the other night, the other night show host. Um, anyway, I know his name escapes me, but him talking about Donald Trump and saying Donald Trump uh, basically using uh saying that so and so uh is he the top or the bottom in a, in a, whatever he said whatever that was but the thing was is he said that as a as a homosexual slur that that Donald Trump being a bottom or a top or something like that is a bad thing so like i said this this is just like the uh the white liberal that talks about black issues and stuff like that then turn around behind closed doors and and talks about black people Jimmy Kimmel, that's the guy's name. So 
that's the way I, that's where I'm approaching it. Not necessarily the people that are getting caught, but the people that how can we really with CNN? Can we really sit there with CNN and say that CNN or Fox News or whoever really gives a damn about what they're saying? Or is it just for ratings or is it just for money? Or is it just for power? That's my thoughts on it. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and all that. I got to get to work. Oh, boy. Anyway, we'll see you next one. All right.